So today I'm going to show you the layer mask tutorial. So in your Schoology, you'll find layer mask assignments. And you'll find these two photos. I'm going to show you how to put this little tiger into a bathtub and we're going to play around with dodge and burn and playing around with editing tools. So first you want to save it in your photography folder. So right click, save image as and save it in your photography folder and hit save and do the same for this. So hit right click and do save image as and save it in your photography folder. So now let's open up the bathtub in Photoshop first. So we're going to do file, open, and we're going to get the bathtub photo open first. And just FYI, it is a low quality photo just so that Photoshop can open it and we can really manipulate it better um, so it's not working so hard. So we have that opened and then we're going to open up our tiger photo as well. So file open. And you'll notice I have my bathtub photo and my tiger photo here. Um, one way an easy way um, to grab just a tiger and get rid of the background is going into select and then hitting the subject. And what they'll do is Photoshop is going to try and select the major subject within the photo. So it worked really well. So it really depends on the photo, um, but it worked really well. Part of the image over here you'll notice that my ear didn't grab it all. So all you want to do is um, maybe just go to your quick selection tool and then select part of the image that you need to add. And we are just going to grab our move tool and bring it over to the bathtub and you'll notice now I have my layer. I'm gonna name it Tiger. And I can bring it down, Control T, hit the transform button, and we can bring our tiger kind of into our bathtub. Um, but I'm noticing that in my bathtub photo, the light is coming from this side. And on my tiger photo, the light is hitting from this side because the side's a little bit darker. So I'm going to flip it the other way. In order to do that, you just on transform mode, you right click and then do flip horizontal. And now I flipped my tiger and you want to hit enter to get rid of transform. So once I have the size that I want, you are going to hit the layer mask. Now the layer mask you'll notice that this little thumbnail popped up. What that means is it's basically a non-destructible eraser. So instead of using the eraser tool, we're gonna use the layer mask tool and we are gonna use these two colors. The black is to conceal and white is to reveal. So black, if you are on the black paintbrush, um, and again, you can play around with the hardness and the softness of the brush. So for me and for us, we are going to use 100% hardness. And that just means that I want my edges to have a hard edge. So we're going to um, use our brush tool. And in order to um, increase or decrease our brush size, we hit the brackets. It's next to the P on the keyboard. The left bracket will make it smaller. The right bracket will make it bigger. So let's use our black. And I am going to just erase part of the tiger. So it looks like he's sitting inside the bathtub. Let's say I made a mistake like that. Okay, if you use the eraser tool, um, the only way you can get it back is control Z. Now, when you're keep working in Photoshop and you wanna go back and try to erase it, 
and you're already too far along, Control Z won't help. So this is why the layer mask helps well, because if you switch it over to white to reveal, you can paint part of the image and then you'll get it back. This is what it means when you're using a layer mask and it means a non-destructible eraser because you can always get it back um, no matter what. So now this is where your dodge and burn comes in. Let's say um, right now I see that my light is coming from this way. I want to make this side of my tiger a bit brighter and this side of my tiger a little bit darker. Um, and you, when you play around with lights and shadows, it just gives more depth within the photo. So we are going to make sure our thumbnail is on our tiger instead of our layer mask. And then we're going to go over to our dodge tool to make things brighter. I'm going to bring down my brush a little bit and make sure that your harness is on zero just so that we have a nice, um, bright, soft brush. And once you click on the edge, um, make sure you're like more near the edge than like being on the tiger, because if you do it from the edge, it just gives a nicer look. And then we're gonna switch her over to the burn tool. And I'm gonna bring down my brush. Again, make sure you're on 0% hardness. And then I'm going to be coloring this side just because it is darker. There's not much light on that side. And to make it more realistic, um, if a tiger is right there, I'm sure there's going to be some shadow right on this side. So I'm going to go to my background layer. I'm going to go to my burn tool and making my brush pretty big. I'm just going to put some shadow right here um, and you can always bring down your exposure if you don't want it too dark um, bring it down just a bit so that you can kind of have a little bit more control on how it's going to look like and once you're done with that upload this um, into your Schoology assignment so I can see that it is completed just go to file export export as and we're just getting used to exporting um, format, JPEG, quality. You can just keep it as good and then export it, put it into your photography folder. So for formative assessments like these, just building our skill sets, um, just submit it into Schoology. Um, and then I'll be able to see who has submitted their assignment here, just so that I know that you guys are playing around with layer mask and actually have done it. Um, please make sure you submit it in Schoology, not in a Google Drive or anything, just right in here and I'll be able to give you credit for that.